Hello and welcome to um, our Take 10 Reflection for this week. I wanted to talk about um, decision making. Uh, Abraham Lincoln is reputed to have said, you cannot escape the responsibilities of tomorrow by evading it today. Um, as a teenager, my mother always thought that I was a procrastinator that I would put off things if I didn't have to do them. But I've learned over the years um, to make some difficult and some big decisions uh, in my life. Every day we make decisions. We make hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. Many are tiny and in the scheme of things, not particularly important. And we make them without going through any kind of conscious process. What to have for lunch is not a decision that I often feel I engage my brain in. It's more a decision uh, based on influence from my tummy and my taste buds. But other decisions in life are of much greater importance because the consequences of those decisions in turn shape our reality. Some decisions by their very nature are complicated and the impact on our lives is much longer lasting. So to learn how to make decisions well is an art that we should try and foster. If for no other reason than the fact that um, indecision is often quite stressful on our um, emotional and mental health. So I just wanted to share with you today um, eight tips. I will try and make them quick. So number one, uh, in his book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, Stephen Covey talks about being principles centered. Defining and understanding our principles, our life values, enables us to be true to ourselves and to walk in authenticity when we're making decisions. To know those values also helps us to set priorities and focus our decision making. In my teens, I worked with a group of uh, women who were mostly in their 40s and 50s, and I often heard them say, oh, if only I'd done this. I wish I'd done that. It really impacted me as a 17 year old and I vowed to myself to live my life with as little regret as possible. One of my mum's favourite sayings was, take the path of least regret. Sometimes that means saying no to some things that are good in order to say yes to something better. Number two, being pragmatic and engaging your mind, weighing up the process, the pros and cons, slows down the process of decision making and allows us much more careful consideration. Whilst I advocate pragmatism in decision making, the dangers are that we take so long to make the decision that maybe we miss the opportunity or that the decision making stays in our head and we never actually put it into action. Three, which is kind of the flip side of the last point, is about being adventurous and spontaneous and going with your gut. As we grow, as we understand and define our core values in life, going with your gut becomes easier. The more engaged and mindful we are in the small decisions, the less likely we are to feel overwhelmed when the bigger decisions come along. Four, don't always settle for the easy option through fear of failure. Nelson Mandela said, don't settle for a life that's less than you are capable of living. Don't settle for
for a life that is less than you are capable of living. Be willing on occasion to step out of your comfort zone. Five, value accountability. In the West, we are known for being super independent, but I want to encourage you to value accountability to others, to those you trust, to those who will help you through that process. Seek wise counsel. Counsel from those that you trust to guide you, but not make the decision for you. Six, simply learn to enjoy the process of decision making. See the positives of it, view it as an opportunity. Danish philosopher Soren Kierkegaard said, life is not a problem to be solved, it is a reality to be experienced. Seven, learn to take responsibility for the decisions you make. We are free to choose, but we are not free from the consequences of our choices. Take responsibility, learn to embrace mistakes, see them as part of the growth process. Don't quit just because you got it wrong. Imagine all the inventions of the world that would never have come about if those who created those things gave up on the third or the fourth attempt because, well, it just didn't work. And lastly this, I'm not a big Harry Potter fan, but Professor Dumbledore said, it is our choices that show who we truly are far more than our abilities. At the end of the day, people will value you for who you are, not for what you do, not for a title that you hold. Life is a journey to be experienced and enjoyed. Learn to be comfortable in who you are, in who God has created you to be. I believe that the earlier in life we perfect the art of decision making, the more fulfilling our lives will be. Why? Because we have learned to live more intentionally and hopefully along the way we have taken the path of least regret. Do please subscribe to our YouTube channel and I look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.